Looking at this Bedfordshire landscape at the beginning of May 2014, you could be forgiven for thinking someone had had an accident with the glyphosate can. In fact, that's exactly what I thought when I'd seen it a week earlier, when it all looked pretty much like a perfectly good cereal crop burnt off. The reality, of course, is that it was a well-planned and uniquely possible enterprise because this farmer is running a controlled traffic farming system. Following wheat harvest last year, these fields were immediately direct drilled with spring oats, which because of the early sowing put on a lot of growth. The video and voiceover tell the rest of the story. This is uh, Roxhill Manor Farm on the 3rd of May 2014, looking at a crop of linseed coming up following uh, winter wheat. Uh, immediately after harvesting winter wheat, spring oats were, were sown on this field. Uh, they were sprayed off six weeks before sowing the linseed and then with four litres per hectare of, of Roundup and then another two litres of hect per hectare Roundup just before sowing uh, and it was direct drilled into uh, this sort of uh, cover crop residue which has actually um, rotted down quite a lot since it was first sprayed. We're looking down now a, a cropped intermediate traffic lane. So this has been sown with linseed and hopefully we can see that actually it is coming up quite well in the wheel tracks. And the aim would be to get as, as good a crop from this area as possible. Uh, that starts with getting good establishment of the crop uh, in probably not ideal soil conditions but as you can see here the crop at the moment is looking pretty good. We're looking over now crop in the non-traffic beds and if I can zoom in here just to get a better view of how the crop is looking here. We'll also look and see what happens where we've actually got quite a large volume of residue on the surface. Uh, if we take the surface off that, I think we'll see that even there the crop is coming up underneath it. So you can see here is crop, crop coming through, even though it's fairly well covered with residue from the spring oats. You can see here crop coming up. That will take a little bit longer, but I think it's it's going to be a good enough establishment there for uh, a good yield at the end of the day. I just want to show now what the soil condition looks like and hopefully if I zoom in on on this as I take a sample uh, using the fork we'll, we'll see what that looks like. Hit a stone. out quite easily and hopefully here we can see uh, what a nice structure we've got. It readily breaks apart. There's no visible signs of, of compaction here. This field has been under control traffic for a few years now and you can see we've got a nice heterogeneous structure there. Uh, a lot of pore holes and different sizes of pores and uh, generally a, a good looking structure that breaks apart nicely. So wouldn't you like to be in a position to do this? Simple but highly effective farming that's adding organic matter to the soil and at the same time dealing pretty effectively with problems like black grass. This is the reality of CTF systems, making farming simpler, more efficient and more environmentally friendly.